everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Gemma I own handmade gems and this is our channel where I share the behind the scenes of owning a business but also some tips and tricks um, as well as just some fun little vlogs so thank you for joining today I am actually heading to spotlight um, there's a mess behind me but I'm heading to spotlight to add to this collection of fabric for Christmas so the spotlight Christmas fabric has been out for a while I'm a bit slow to Christmas preparation but I thought I would make a little vlog about it a big thanks to Inventora for sponsoring this video um, Inventora is amazing and I'll chat about it a little bit more in the video but let's head to spotlight so I'm doing this for my Christmas launch I obviously don't want to do a massive launch I want to aim to get a few different scrunchies um, a set or two of scrunchy clips as well as what else did I want or oh, some gift packs and dog bandanas so they're like my four four or five main things but it just depends on what I can get my hands on what I think um, etc I've lost my trolley token so I've decided to take one out of the little collection so I'm gonna quickly undo this one um, this is one of our silver ones on the silver key ring so pretty so I've just got to attach that to my keys because I've actually lost mine so I need a trolley token for spotlight so there you go it's on my keys I'm ready to go um, I I'm not doing a list all I know is I need white thread and I don't really need any other fabric at the moment so I'm literally just gonna get the Christmas fabric I don't want to spend too much in spotlight oh I didn't actually mention but I am actually wearing one of our new I'm just gonna put my sunnies on at the moment one of our new scrunchies at the moment I'll put a little video on the screen here hopefully um, but this is a Maria duotone scrunchie it's one of our first duotone and I'm so excited about it it's a limited edition so if you do want to get your hands on it make sure you click the link down below um, and it'll send you to the website I absolutely love it it's a nice spring floral kind of vibe and I think it's really nice and pretty so let's head to spotlight and we'll chat in there I have now arrived at spotlight and I haven't filmed in public in a while I'm so scared a car is gonna pull on there's people walking but I've arrived I'm gonna head in in a second I actually I get really nervous when people walk past so I'm just gonna pretend I'm on the phone with the camera down here hey guys it is what is the time 1 30 on the dot my aim is to spend half an hour maximum in here but i know that's not going to be the case but I, if you have seen my vlog about like mental health and everything um the one where i'm diying pants i explained like what's been going on and everything so struggling a lot with anxiety and everything and one of the things that brings on my anxiety sometimes is in like social settings or shopping centers so um sometimes it's a big step for me to actually get out and <laughs> go to shops um which is why i haven't been to spotlight a lot recently um or they lack like short trips and everything so i'm excited to go in because spotlight's my happy place so i'm really excited um there's so many people coming in and out so i'm gonna leave it now but i will check in with you in there and see how we go did also um forget to mention ignore my keys but i always forget to take a bag in so i am taking this bag it's my big bag that I got from Napoleon Wear. I'll show a little snippet later, but um, it's a really good bag and I'm obsessed with Napoleon Wear, so definitely check them out.
process, but I can't decide on what I want and what I need. There was one that I wanted, like a check sort of one, but I can't seem to find it, so I'm really annoyed about that. I'm currently hiding in the clearance section, so I can film. But I am just so bad at decisions. I've got like plain poplin, which I needed. Um, but there's so many cute ones, and I just can't decide because I also have ones that I want to use from last year. Um, so I'm thinking I'll do them in like mystery um, lucky dips as well as the scrunchy clips and everything because um, I reckon they would look really cute and scrunchy clips are small things. So yeah, get back to looking now. I'm so glad I just checked the clearance because I just found a bonnie knit there and bonnie knit is one of my favourite knits. So. I'm like so glad I checked that. Now I'm just going to check everything else. I'm sorry, but how pretty is this fabric? It's like a shared floral one. It would be amazing for a skirt, but I don't know how to make a tiered skirt. Kind of like the one that I'm wearing now. I would absolutely love that. Also, I really hope you're enjoying these angles because I'm just putting the camera in random spots. It's great. finished in spotlight what is the time now 2 20 so about 50 minutes in there so I knew it wasn't gonna be half an hour but I did what I could um, I spent just over a hundred dollars in fabric and we got some amazing fabrics I'm so excited because I got this fairy bread one so the all non Australians please let me know if you know what fairy bread is I might actually make it this afternoon and explain it I think I'll do that and explain it because some people don't know what fairy bread is and it's actually a Australian delicacy. So <laughs> I am so excited about all our fabrics. Cannot wait to make these into scrunchies, bandanas, etc. Thank you to the lovely person in Spotlight who cut my fabric. I'm not going to say their name just in case they don't want it on the internet but I am so grateful for them for letting me film and everything so it was really good in there and I'm now going to go home and I'll do a little haul of the fabrics. I'm back and this is the bag I was talking about. So it says, why blend in when you're born to stand out? And I think it is so cute. It is massive. So it's fitting like literally all my fabric in it. Plus drink bottle, etc. I got this one on the bolt because it was so pretty and so cute. So I'll do a little haul in a second for you and show you what I got. I have just scuffed down some sushi. I late lunch. I love sushi. Obsessed with it. But I'm going to go through what I got. I <laughs> spent more than I wanted to, which always happens in Spotlight. But I used vouchers and I didn't get too many fabrics. I got like a couple of meters worth of all the fabrics rather than, you know, like a meter worth of 20 or whatever. So go through them. First thing in my bag is my trusty big bottle co drink bottle. I love it. My tripod, which you got on currently. My purse as well. The first thing, well, after Spotlight, I went to um, my supplier of organza bags and just picked up some more organza bags for my trolley token. If you don't know, my trolley tokens come in little organza bags like that with a cute, like, trolley token instruction, what it is. Um, and then the actual token in there. So it's a really cute gift idea and it helps to minimize plastic because usually trolley tokens are in plastic bags. I decided to use the organza bags just because I think they look a bit cuter. You can gift it 
and it looks a bit nicer but it also helps decrease the plastic use so obviously they come in plastic but it's just one plastic bag which I'll reuse for like other things as well so that's always like in my business I always try and minimize plastic as much as I can um, but as I said when I was in the car I spent just over $100 in spotlight which is pretty good for me we all know I got the fairy bread one which I think might be a limited edition I'm not too sure but they had like chocolate crackles they had um like Australian treats and it was so cute adorable I wanted to buy them all but I was like I have to get the fairy bread because I reckon that that's gonna be a winner so this is what the fairy bread looks like how pretty is it I went in for the Christmas fabrics um, I came out with a couple more things, but I have reasoning for them. So the first one is our body knit, which I got three, three or four meters of, which will last me a while. Um, because this one was on clearance and it literally was brought out probably like six months ago. So I'm really upset about it, but this is our body knit. I'll let it focus. So this is our body knit. I have a lot of her. So if you do like the body knit and a lot of wholesale customers like that one as well. So always got to make sure I get stuff for them I also got some more of our blue ditzy blue ditzy flowers just because I can never seem to get this one as well as the pink one I can't seem to find it so whatever I can I just get little bits um, and then I think the rest of it was Christmas related so the first ones I got were some red cotton green cotton and some white cotton I also spent a bit of money on actual Christmas fabrics. So, well, if I can get them all together. These are our Christmas fabrics for 2022. How beautiful. Such an array of colors. So, they obviously don't have names yet at all. But the first one is this beautiful red one that has like reindeer, snowmen, candy canes, gingerbread, trees, holly, literally everything. And I thought it was amazing and such a Christmas fabric. It just, I'm so excited to sew that one. My favorite breed of dog is a Dash Hound or a Dachshund or a sausage dog, wherever you're from, however you pronounce it. How beautiful bandanas with this one, dog bandanas, just because I don't know, I think the prints are too spread apart to go in scrunchies and everything. So that's going to be for dog bandanas. And all of these are going to be limited because when they sell out, they sell out. It's just to reduce the waste and reduce me having extra at the end of the year, um, which is what happened last year. So I just want to decrease that one. I also got this Santa print, which is like a pink Santa. I thought I wanted like a pink one just because it's not the traditional Christmas colours. But it's a really nice fabric and it's really, really sweet. Like on the beard, there's little love hearts and there's dots and everything. So I'm really excited for that one. Also got this one, which is probably going to be a pet bandana as well. Or maybe a scrunchie, I'm not too sure. But it's this like, got lollies, um, stockings, gingerbread, tree, ornaments all little things and i think it's so beautiful i love the teal color so i might actually do that in scrunchies i'm not too sure still undecided um i do know however this is going to be scrunchies and this also could be pet bandanas this would be so cute but i fell in love with this gingerbread one i think it is so adorable and i had to have it so that's definitely going to be one of my favorites and then last but not least i'm going to say they're all my favorites because they're so cute christmas is such a fun time of year i love christmas and it's only october whoops the last one is a holly now you might have seen i was trying to toss up between two different holly fabrics one was like a bigger holly and this was the smaller one i went for the smaller one because i have obviously smaller products and so with scrunchies i've always got to keep in mind how wide the actual prints are set out um for instance i love i this is my favorite print but for a scrunchie it's going to be really scrunched up so sometimes it's hard to see what the actual print is um which is why i don't think i'll do this one in a scrunchie just because it's quite big so i went for the smaller holly and i'm really happy i did it's gonna look beautiful and i'm gonna do a duotone 
sort of one. I don't really know what yet. Oh my god, I might do lots of duo tones. Who knows? I also picked up this one, which is beautiful. It's so pretty. I am so excited for this. We've gone for more traditional fabrics this year because I have a lot of spare from last year. So I'm going to reuse them, do clips and everything in them. And these are going to be majority new scrunchies and new bandanas. I'm also hoping to do gift packs. So with little, I'm aiming to get some candles, like some cute different candles and just like self-care gift packs so they're not going to be christmas themed but they're going to be just gift packs in general um so they can stay on my website so i'm excited for them hopefully they work out but i also wanted to try and get in a bit early so that our international customers can order and receive before christmas because we all know with christmas comes shipping delays and postage delays and i just want to avoid that so that is why I'm trying to get it as early as possible. International orders are open. I haven't had an international order yet, but I am so excited. Um, I have a little scratch off map as well, and I cannot wait. So I, yeah. So I just want to pause the video here and say a huge thank you to Inventora for partnering with me on this video. I am so blessed. If you don't know, Inventora are an all-in-one tracking inventory software designed for handmade and small businesses just like myself and some of you. I personally didn't even think that I would need an inventory tracking system or assistance in those sort of things, especially because a lot of my things are just like handmade and made to order. But it is so useful and I cannot stress this enough and I just, I want to share this with you guys. So this is Inventora, it's an online tracking system as I was saying. So to get started you literally just click the get started button. I've already got an account as I've already signed up and I've got the um, paid account but there is, it's completely free to sign up. Um, this is just all my materials. So this is the first thing you see once you've set up. I've already pre-uploaded them. But basically it's showing me all my materials for basically my fabrics, um, how much they are, how much I've got in stock with my stock level and everything. So this is just me going through and showing you how you put that into the system. What I really love about it is you can put the supplier, so where you've got it from, you can really um, personalize it. So put the meters and everything, do it in categories, even put the barcode, which is just so useful when it comes to finding fabrics, especially on Spotlight website. <laughs> now, inventory isn't just a tracking system for your stock levels. It also helps keep track of um, how much supplies you have, the cost of the stock levels, as well as kind of ensuring you've got your product pricing right and estimating the cost price for each item, which has been really helpful. And this is what I'm showing you here. Through the free integrations of Shopify, Etsy, Wix and Square, you can easily connect your listings and it actually helps you break down the cost price. So as you can see here, this is my Alaska scrunchie and it's showing me the fabric cost price, the thread cost price, as well as the hair ties and it all adds it up. So it's really helpful when starting a business or adding new listings to your site. So in this spotlight trip, I obviously got a lot of our Christmas fabrics. So this was just me popping in the Christmas fabrics to Inventora. Um, I use the barcodes on the spotlight website and use the most expensive price I would pay for the fabric just to make it a lot easier for me when estimating, etc. And then I just made it in a Christmas category to make it a lot easier. Now, I'm definitely not a pro and have a lot of new features to still learn, but I really hope you enjoy it and let me know if you do end up using it yourself. Inventora has a free plan and a business plan i'm currently using the business plan um, but the free plan definitely has a lot of different features on it let me know if you guys use it thank you so much to inventory for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the fabric okay so it's the part of the video where i promised i would make fairy bread so this is what fairy bread is basically fairy bread is a piece of white bread traditionally could be like any bread but white bread is like the main one served to parties family gatherings and like kids parties and everything in particular so it's basically white bread with butter and sprinkles so like sugar sprinkles or hundreds and thousands whatever you want to call it these are the ones i am using today these are the coles 100s and thousands so basically it's just like the sugar pearls like colored sugar basically this is what you'll need i'm going to make a tiktok while doing this so i think i'm just going to do like a time lapse and basically need some bread so i've just got some white sourdough because that's all we've got you need butter um i use nutalex because it's dairy free 
and hundreds and thousands or sprinkles whatever you want to call it as well as a knife obviously to butter a spoon you don't need it but some people like a bowl or a plate and then a plate so it's pretty easy um i will make a tiktok and explain it there and also probably put it in the video so i hope you enjoy I finished my attempt of a TikTok, so I'm just gonna lay down here because I can't be bothered changing the camera. But this was my attempt at fairy bread, and it is adorable. It's so pretty, it makes you so happy. Um, and I think it looks pretty damn close to our little fabric here. So that is all you need to do for fairy bread. Please let me know if you've had it before. Um, if you're gonna try it, please let me know what you think. It was definitely a childhood obsession, so yeah. Now I'm gonna get addicted again. <laughs> Try some fairy bread with me. I picked up this gorgeous fabric, which I'm turning into a scrunchie. And to celebrate, I've decided to make some fairy bread. Ideally, you want the softest bread that you can find. I'm just using this sourdough that we have. So it's not the softest, but just got one slice and popped it on a plate. I'm going to butter it. So you literally just got some butter and spread it all over. I'm doing this because I found this fabric in spotlight and i absolutely think it's so adorable so i thought what better way to celebrate than share it with you and make some fairy bread together a fairy bread was one of my favorite snacks as a kid and i really i don't know like how you could live without it but this was always served at birthday parties and just fun family events and it's just such a cute little snack i used to always make it for breakfast sometimes Mom didn't know. And I put this the hundreds and thousands on a plate. I kind of make sure it's all like spread out, as you can tell. You get your butter piece of bread and you just place it down and put it down. Literally just keep pushing. Then you pick up your piece of bread and it is fairy bread. How beautiful is that? Such an Aussie snack. I absolutely love fairy bread and I'm really excited for our new scrunchie. Cheers. That is all for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I am actually going to cut it here because I think I'm going to do another video just of me sewing scrunchies for the Christmas release, which will hopefully be very soon. If not already be out by the time this video goes out, I will pop some dates here, some times here um, when I obviously work out when it's coming out. But I really hope you've enjoyed. Please let me know what you think and what your favorite fabric is. Please let me know if you try fairy bread because it's definitely one of my favorite things. And I hope you have an amazing day. As always, stay gorgeous.